Welcome to this video where we're going to be talking about probably the best Chrome extension for ChatGPT right now, Harper AI. Go on Google and type in Harper, H-A-R-P-A, AI. And I would just personally click on the Chrome extension one here and then just press add to Chrome. Obviously mine says remove from Chrome because I already have it. Once you have it, if you do Alt A, I don't know what it is on a Mac at any point, then it should open it up like this. And this tool is actually looking like it might be really, really strong for things like competitor research. So I showed you in the last, in a couple of videos ago, using bookmarklets to scrape your competitors' articles and getting all the good stuff. This is even better. So what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to write black tie attire for men on Google. I'm going to see what comes up first. It is, of course, British GQ because they have such amazing authority. It's actually insane the amount of authority they have. What I'm going to do again is Alt A and this will open up my Harper AI. I'm going to do uh, forward slash and then these are all of the different options that we can use. What we can do is we can first of all extract and research SEO keywords. So you want to press that and then you want to press page text here. Okay, which tells Harper AI that the reference point is actually the page that you're on. And then when you press enter, what it's going to do is it's going to take all of the keywords from the article and it's even going to give you LSI. Okay, what is LSI? LSI stands for Latent Semantic Indexing. This is a computer program that is designed to learn a wide variety of synonyms based on context. It's a method that uses maths to find relationships between words and concepts within a piece of content. What does that mean? It means if you talk about one certain topic and you mention other topics, there is a more likelihood that you are going to rank because you have good latent cement semantic indexing. Okay. So the beautiful thing about this is that we basically have all of the keywords, all of the LSI, everything done for us in literally seconds. And this is the kind of thing that SEO tools, normally you have to pay 1,200, sorry, 120 a month, 150 a month, 199 a month to get this information. You can now get it for free using this method all you need to do is put is log in to ChatGPT. Now, for me personally, that's completely crazy. It's really, really good. And I'm going to show you how we can use that information. So I'm going to be using ChatGPT, although personally, I would still be using the playground. The reason I'm using ChatGPT is obviously more people who watch my videos are using ChatGPT. The reason I'm still using the playground instead of ChatGPT is because the playground works with relative links and apparently ChatGPT doesn't, but it's whatever, it's a personal choice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this is, this is the keyword density information for this article. Please try to use these keywords and LSI keywords sprinkled naturally throughout the article. Okay. And then I'm going to grab one of my old prompts from here. So we're just going to grab this prompt from dominate SEO with, Ch with chat GPT four. This new prompt will be in the description of this video. So don't worry, write this entire article, uh, black tie attire for men, please mention Kiton and Cesare Attolini. Again, you're going to have to apply this to your own businesses. We sell Kiton and Cesare Tellini. That's why I'm saying that. You can mention these brands and use these internal links. So I'm just going to give it, I'm just going to give it three internal links just because this is an example. And collections. Kiton. Let's just copy this. One thing you should always be able to do is be able to make your own links. Okay. And you should not make mistakes. This is really, really good practice is writing your own links because it helps you understand how websites are created. And it also just means that you're much more knowledgeable about this kind of thing. So already we could press enter, but what you can also do with Harper AI, this is a little bit more controversial and I personally don't think it's copying at all, but obviously a lot of people will think that it's copying. 
So you can do slash and you can say something like, um, where is it? Outrank SEO article. So it's going to do the same thing. So we're going to click page text and then press enter. What this is going to do is it's going to summarize the article that we're currently on. I hate Twitter. I hate Twitter. And what I'm going to do is I'm just, I'm going to take this just as a point of reference. Okay. So I'm going to say point of reference. Use the point of reference as a helper. Okay. Are we on chat GPT four? We are not. Okay. So this prompt will be in the description. We're just going to hit enter. Um, yeah, this will now create an SEO rich article. So let's judge the content as we go. Black tie events are some of the most prestigious and important events on the social calendar. However, the dress code can be quite daunting and confusing for many people. That's why we're here to explain everything you need to know about black tie dress code. For many people, that's why the blah, 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 blah. From what to look for in a tuxedo to what to, what shirt to wear and how to tie your bow tie. A comprehensive guide will ensure that you're the best dressed person at the event and you feel confident and comfortable in your outfit. Now, one thing you can see already, again, this is why I use the platform over using actual chat GPT. It's not doing the internal links. It might do the internal links later, but for now, at least it's not doing the internal links. And this is one of the most important parts of this method. So I'm at, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go here and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to put this here, I guess, but let's remove this and this and this. And I'm going to just press submit and I'm going to show you why I use the playground instead of chat GPT. I'm so sick of chat GPT. I just, it's not as good. It's just not as good. You guys should be using the platform. I'm telling you, see, look at that instantly. It uh, uses an internal link right here. I'm actually going to delete the point of reference because I really don't think it's necessary. I just wanted to show you guys what you can do technically. I just, I don't really think it's necessary because I think the, the content that it writes is good enough anyway. Let me show you right now why I use the playground instead of chat GPT. There are two reasons. Number one, look, it's just stopped in the middle. Okay. Yes. You can say continue from where you left off and it will do exactly that. It's just not as good. It's just not as good. It's really not as good. This has all of the HTML. This has the internal links. It's doing everything I told it to do. Chat GPT is just on, on, on one. It's got a mind of its own. It doesn't care about what I said. It's so, it's actually so frustrating. It's honestly so frustrating. More people should be using the playground. Even if you don't have access to chat GPT four, I would honestly think that chat GPT 3.5 inside the playground is still better. The content is longer. The content is better. It's using everything I told it to do, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Okay. So chat GPT in the end decided to actually use the internal links that I told it to. So I'm sorry for flaming it to the point of no return. Let's quickly look, we're going to compare the two and we're going to see who made more content and kind of who made the better content. Huh? What do you mean? I've never seen that on a Google Doc. What? Cannot copy and paste. Excuse me? <laughs> okay, I, I let's just use ChatGPT. So how many words in total is my article? 694 words. Okay, good. Thank you. And let's see how many words this is. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to mark down to HTML. I'm going to grab this and we'll go to word count tool. Word counter. Perfect. Put this in, see how many words it is. 1000 words. The playground is better. That wasn't the point of this video, but the playground is so much better. So this right now is definitely the best way to do SEO research 
get your competitors' keywords. You can guarantee that GQ have done the SEO research. It even gives you the LSI, etc., which is something the SEO surfer. This is normally what you would have to use, and it's expensive, okay? SEO surfer has been replaced by a free Chrome extension, which honestly, I find that hilarious. I find that really, really funny, although I probably shouldn't. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope this helps. Don't waste your money with expensive tools. The AI revolution is here, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.